tell us what it yeah. is you need to focus on and what are you trying to get to faster? So what we need to focus on is um, you know, our mission going forward. So we, we, we are in a time of unprecedented change. It offers amazing opportunities, uh, but we have to be very selective. We have to have a very clear point of where we're gonna play and where we're gonna win, uh, how we're gonna win. And then we need to articulate that to um, not only our employees, but also uh, the investing world. So uh, that's the focus and on the speed, we need just speed of decision making. Um, you know, we live in a, in a world where the clock speed is, has increased dramatically. Uh, we have competitors now coming into our space uh, that we haven't seen before. And we just need to get ourselves into fighting shape uh, very, very quickly. You said very positive things about Mark Fields, the outgoing CEO. Uh, but there must yes. be some change you want that you didn't see happening before. Uh, so uh, give us a sense, is it a different set of priorities or m going toward the same priorities at a quicker pace? Well, it's both. I mean, Mark did a great job in delivering us uh, terrific profitability and really set the stage for us to be, have the financial wherewithal to create the kind of future that, that I believe we, we can and will have. Um, but, uh, you know, in a time of great transition, that's where we are now. I mean, I've never seen such a time uh, in our industry where technology and competitors and everything is converging to drive uh, real change. It's very helpful in, in, in a time like that to have a, a leader who's very experienced in driving transformational change. And fortunately, we have that in Jim Hackett. So uh, Jim, you know, I'm, uh, I know Jim very well. I know the way he thinks um, and I know his restlessness to get things done. Um, and so I'm very grateful to Mark for everything he did for our company because he did amazing things. Um, but we, we're in a different time now and it requires uh, the kind of leadership that Jim will bring us. So, so Bill, if you can be a bit more specific, not about goals and timetables, but overall where you want to move. Is this a matter of electrical vehicles? Is, is this EVs? Because it is perceived that you're somewhat behind some other people in the industry. Yeah, it is about EVs. It's about uh, uh, AVs, autonomous vehicles. It's also about uh, it really making uh, sure that we're investing in the parts of our, of our car and truck business that we get good returns and we are not investing in parts of our business where we're not getting good returns. And so it's really all about capital allocation as well. So there's a lot going on. We're inventing the new. We have to be very thoughtful about where we invest in the current business. Um, and we have to make sure that we continue to drive profitability so that we have the capital to continue to uh, uh, reimagine the Ford Motor Company. It takes a fair amount of time to develop an automobile. You know better than just about anybody. Uh, how long do you expect it will take until you're up to the pace you would like to be to when it comes to EVs? Well, with EVs, um, you know, and, and there are obviously lots of categories of EVs. There's, there's hybrids, there's plug-in hybrids, and then there are pure, pure electric vehicles. And so in some of the areas, I think we're in really good shape. Other areas, we do need more emphasis. Um, but uh, it's a high priority for us, and we've already announced we're spending $4.5 billion on electrification. Uh, and part of that, too, is making sure that the business case around electrification really makes uh, uh, good sense. Well, that's a great point because you make a lot of money, for example, off the F-150. You don't want to run away from that too quickly as a practical matter. So do you think that you can get well, to a we world? Won't. Would you, you think you can get to a world where with EVs you can make the sort of margins you have off of, for example, an F-150? Well, even the F-150 will, will get, uh, you know, hybridized and, and then, you know, beyond that, maybe uh, even more electrified. So I think our whole business is, is changing and will change as the technology develops. And so... Um, you know, I, I, and so I, I think this is, you can't take a static picture of where we are today and project that out in the future. Um, but we have to make sure that wherever we go, uh, that the returns are, are great for our shareholders. And that's what we're doing. Right. So finally, you mentioned capital allocation. We've seen a big competitor of yours down mm -hmm. the road get out of some businesses, such as in Europe and things. Are you going to be reviewing businesses you might want to get out of altogether because you cannot see over the longer term a real return for your shareholders? Yeah, if we get to that point, you'll, you'll see us make those changes. Um, we, you know, we do have a lot of things on the table um, where uh, we don't feel we're getting adequate, adequate returns. And so you'll see us, uh, led by Jim, uh, really um, go after those decisions.